Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WordPress server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed WordPress, PHP MyAdmin and MySQL. So simply from this page click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, simply choose the machine type according to your requirements and the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. And after that, you can simply click on this button to accept the agreement and then click on deploy to actually deploy this virtual machine. And after that, simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. For that, simply click on this little arrowhead icon and then click on set windows password. Basically, we want to set at the administrator account for Windows Server 2019 so that we can connect to it using an RDP connection. So provide yourself with a username and then click on set. It is going to show you a password, so copy this password and place it somewhere safe. After that, simply close this dialog box and then click on this hamburger icon and then go to compute engine. In here you would be able to see your newly created virtual machine and it also has an external IP. Now to connect to this virtual machine simply hit windows and type a remote desktop connection and then you are simply going to take this external IP and paste it inside this computer field. After that simply click on show options and then provide the username that you have just provided for the windows server 2019 and then click on connect. And then it is going to prompt you for the password so simply paste in the password that you had previously stored. And then click on OK and then it is going to prompt you once more that you are trying to connect to a remote host. So click on yes and wait for the connection to be fully established. And once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load as well. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the very first step is to manage your database so that WordPress can use it. Now to do this, simply head over to this icon that says phpMyAdmin. Now to log in into phpMyAdmin, the username is root and the password is actually this virtual machine's instance ID. Now to get this instance ID, simply minimize this remote desktop connection and then click on the name of your virtual machine. Now this is going to take you over to this details page from where you can see this instance ID. So simply copy it and paste it inside the password field and then hit go. Now this is going to allow you to log in into phpMyAdmin from where you can manage the MySQL database. Now within this phpMyAdmin, you want to create a new database. For that simply head over to this databases tab and then simply type a database name that would be used by WordPress. So I'm just going to call it WordPress DB01 and make sure that the encoding is set to UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI and then click on create to just create this database. Now once this database has been created, we want to create a specific user for this database with all the privileges. Now to do this, simply head over to the privileges tab and then click on add user account. After that, give yourself a username, so I'm just going to call mine as CIS admin and leave the host name as blank. And after that, simply provide a password. After that, simply set the authentication plugin to native MySQL authentication and make sure that this checkbox is ticked which says grant all privileges on the database WordPress DB01. After that, simply check this icon that says check all and then scroll down and click on go to create this user for this database. Once that is done, we can now move on to setting up our WordPress and then installing the WordPress. So you can close this Internet Explorer and this time around you're going to open up this icon that says localhost. Now it is going to open up the WordPress installation wizard. So simply click on continue and after that click on let's go and then provide the name of the database that you have just created which in my case is WordPress DB01 and then its respective user along with the password. Leave the database host as localhost and you can leave the table prefix as WP as well. Then simply click on submit to initialize the installation process. Now in this installation process, it is going to ask you for the site that you want to create. 
So let's say just I want to create a site named as CIS. So I'll just type that over here and then the administrator account for that website CIS. Well, this is also going to be CIS admin and then I can give a password myself or I can just go with the default password. After that, simply provide the email for your admin user and then simply click on install WordPress to actually install this WordPress with this particular website. And just like that, it says that your website or WordPress has been installed. And then if you come over to this link, which is the localhost forward slash WP hyphen login, you would be able to log in to your admin panel for your website. And as you can see that we were able to log into the admin panel. Now the next step is to make your website externally available. Now to do this, simply minimize this Internet Explorer, open up the file explorer, head inside this PC, then C and then inet perl and then wordpress and in here you would see this file which is the wpconfig.php file so you want to open this file up and within this file you want to add in two more lines now to get these two commands simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post which is a step by step guide on how to install wordpress on google cloud platform now on this blog post simply copy these lines and paste it inside the wpconfig.php file and then you want to replace this public IP for the IP of your visual machine. Now to get this IP, simply minimize this remote desktop connection, head over to Google Cloud and then click on Compute Engine. After that, simply click on this icon to copy the external IP of your visual machine and then head back to the wpconfig file and paste in the IP address right over here. After that is done, simply save the file and exit from it. And then the last step is to restart the service of World Wide Web Publishing Service. So hit Windows and type in Services and then open up this application. And then within this application simply type in World Wide Web and you will get this service that it is currently running. Simply right click on it and then click on Restart and once it has been restarted you would be able to access your WordPress website externally. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up WordPress on Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.